YouTube, it's me at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be looking at a couple different ways that you can get rid of your spam that's occur started to occur in the cloud iCloud calendars and on your iOS devices and such. I'm going to show you a method that you can use to block this straight from your mobile device, iOS device, or on your iCloud account using your PC or Mac. So first of all, let me show you using the actual iOS device, and that's, you see we have it on the screen here, ready to go. And I'll go ahead and open this up and start this up for, so you can see what we're doing. Um, it'll take it just a minute to load back up. Here we go. Now, when you get these spam through your calendar you see I got that little one there on my calendar so what I'm gonna do is open that up and I've already selected it and this is the actual event details that they have sent me where in the world this is from from looks like China or somewhere based on that invitation from but what we what we need to do is create a calendar we're gonna create a phony calendar and actually uh, move it over to that and then we can delete it if we want to later on down the line but don't delete it right now because if you delete it that's going to let them know that you actually have replied and then that will put you on their list and you will get even more spam so don't delete it right now if you have if you've already deleted it that's fine let's go ahead down here at the bottom and tap calendars and from that from there what you want to do is you actually want to create another calendar. You're going to need to, to tap the edit button up here in the top left corner. Tap the edit button. Then you're going to tap add calendar to the specific area right here under iCloud. Now go down to where it says iCloud. <clears throat> tap add calendar and you'll get a pop-up and you'll need to name that right there. And what they've been naming them online is spam calendar, junk calendar. But long as you know what it is, <clears throat> you can name it whatever you want. The name of the calendar isn't very relevant as long as you know which one it is you're going to be putting it in. So once you name it spam calendar or whatever, it will appear under iCloud. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. Now once you do that, click done and then you're going to tap the event and in the event you're going to go down to where it says calendar and you're going to simply move it from home or whatever calendar it's in into the spam calendar and you're just going to go back now you see down here at the bottom where it says accept decline all of that don't worry about that right now because if you accept or decline any of that that's going to let them know that you're actually in their actual uh, your, if you reply they're going to know what your address is and that you've been looking at them. and that's the last thing you want to do right now so depending on how many of these you have is how, it, you know it may take you a little while to do this but as long as you get them just move them over into that calendar and then you can actually mute that calendar's notifications, uh, do a number of different things with it to, get to, to keep from getting uh, those spam in your device. Now, something else that you can do here also, if you're like me and don't use your notifications for calendar events that much, um, personally I never use them because I just uh, never did get in the habit of it. What you could do is you could go into calendars here, uh, back all of, let's back all the way back out so you know where to go. You could tap calendars, and then now this is after you have created your actual calendar, your spam calendar. And you could go to uh, the spam cal on your iPhone, and you could choose down here at the bottom where it says notifications, turn them off, click done, and this should help eliminate you getting those notifications. Now, the actual events may still appear, but you won't get the actual notifications as bad as you, as you once were doing on your iOS device. So keep that in mind. And what they're also recommending that you can do on this 
is you can open up the event and you can move the event from whatever calendar you have selected up here if it was in home you can move it down to the spam calendar here and that will remove it from your actual calendar that you use daily that way you don't have to look at these now if you have clicked accept or decline for those don't freak out all that's doing is just it's verifying your email but if you haven't don't do it so that's just a little tip that you can keep in your hat now let's go in here and let me show you how you can avoid this from your Mac now personally I, or, or, or your PC um, personally I think this is the better way to do it but everybody you know may not have uh, access to a machine go into iCloud log in when you once you log in you're going to go into calendar of course and what you're going to do now is create a new calendar and you're simply going to do that by just going down to the little uh, gear icon down here click preference where it says preferences right under there just click new calendar and same thing you're going to name it whatever you want it uh, I'll just leave that like it, like it is for the time being and then you're going to go under preferences and go to advance and in here you can click old events you can click hide events uh, after one day whatever also right here you need to click where it says email me shared updates now from right here you need to choose email to whatever uh, the spam calendar is called you, or, or your email or your spam calendar is I should say so that's going to be your iCloud uh, email most likely and hit save and once you do that you should be pretty well all set now if you want to go ahead and remove some of these uh, that's already cluttering up your calendar just double click on them and then you do not click either any of these except maybe or decline here you're going to actually change the uh, event calendar from right here or yeah you and you're going to double what to do is click the little red dot right here or your dot may be a different color based on the color of your calendar and put it in the spam calendar and now when you use your calendars it will actually that will go away so now we'll go back out and as you can see right here um, when we when we choose to remove that calendar that event will be moved and you won't have to be fooled with them anymore okay like so <clears throat> but when you pull up the spam calendar you will probably still see those in there so don't be alarmed if that that's the case because you're actually building a spam calendar for spam events so keep that in mind so I hope this wasn't too confusing best thing to do is watch the video in two parts watch the first part if you're, if you're going to be using your iOS device to eliminate these and and if you're going to use the PC version or Mac you watch that part don't don't watch both of them because it may be a little bit confusing but if you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button share this on Facebook and Twitter help us get the word out and keep coming back